Hi there, and for this video, we'll be showing you a comparison between two workflow management softwares, namely Asana and Jira. But before we proceed with the video, let me just be clear. If you want to try out Jira for free right now, just simply go to the link in the description down below and let's proceed. Now, of course, Asana and Jira are similar softwares, but I believe that Jira here has a bit more versatility. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's look at Asana. This is what the workspace looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Forward. it's pretty basic for example we have tasks here we have portfolios we have reporting you can use insights with a reporting tab all in all it looks pretty simple and I'm saying simple as in simple for software of this type. Of course, there will always be a layer of complexity every time we learn any of these workflow management software. That is just how it is. These are the boards. Here we have a calendar. And of course, we can attach files. We can list as well. And we have a few customization options here. We have the rules for automation as well. But especially since most, if not all, workflow management software are supported by AI nowadays. But this is about what we have. It is entirely based on workflow. You could liken it to ClickUp or Confluence, another Atlassian product. But it is pretty basic and there isn't much depth to Asana. Whereas if we go to Jira, Jira is a lot more focused on issue tracking. And let me show you the boards. This is a sample of my market board. Of course, you can still move the cards around manually, but we also have a system for automation. And I believe that the automation features of Jira are a lot more robust. They are a lot more specific and can cater to exactly what you need. In a way, it is close enough to coding. In fact, you create rules that if an event occurs, you can set the issues. You can turn on the rules for what has to be done in this tab right here. And there are a lot of conditions and triggers that you can manage here in this page alone. This is only the board for the market and business sample, but we also have a board for the scrum project. And here you can create issues. We have a sample issue that can be manually looked up into the backlogs you can do all the assignments and whatnot and we also have a tab for coding in fact you can integrate with a lot of different third-party apps here with Jira I do not believe that is present in Asana so in terms of flexibility alone Jira is clearly superior now let's look over at pricing here at Asana these are the prices that they have they have a free plan as well but it doesn't cover all that much in fact the user limit is also just 10. Their other plans are a starter plan and the advanced plan, which does not have any discount. At the end of the day, it's a workflow management board. There isn't much to it. And starter and advanced, you do not have a discount for your team size. Standard and the user limits are only for 500. Of course, it doesn't apply for enterprise, but that is a different case entirely. If we go over to Jira, by default it is billed monthly. And already we can see a difference between our standard and the premium prices and we still have a free plan for 10 users. Now let's say you have a team of 500. It becomes significantly cheaper than if you are going to Asana. Meanwhile, giving you the versatility of multiple integrations and a more robust issue tracking system. Of course, enterprise will also be custom price and this is for up to 50,000 users. Now that is a huge number. I don't think anyone would need 50,000, but it is a capacity that Jira can accommodate. There is even a discount for annual billing by 17%. That is substantial. So I believe if you were with a smaller team or by yourself, maybe you could work with Asana. If you didn't need a very detailed workflow, if you don't have ITSM, perhaps you can go for Asana. But if you want to have a complete workflow management system, complete with software development capabilities as well, I think it is absolutely clear that you should go with Jira. It is cheaper and it allows you more. Just a bit of a learning curve, but it's not too complicated. Now, just a reminder, if you want to try Jira out for free, there is a link down in the description below. So go ahead and give it a go. Again, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, maybe subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.